it's Duke and Morgan, and it's Fan Friday! Woo! It's time for Fan Friday! Woohoo! First question. Jessica wants to know, what do you use for fleas for your dogs? Fortunately, none of our girls have ever had fleas. Uh, we actually currently are using Vectra 3D. But we don't put it put it on them in the winter time. We only put it on them in the spring and the fall and the summer. But in the winter time, there aren't really any fleas around here, so we don't use it in the winter. Carl says, "Have you ever heard of using a Dremel to clip your dog's nails if they are too thick? I can't seem to clip my girl's nails without her freaking right out." Uh, I have heard of it. I haven't done it. I do know that there are people out there that use it, and it's not for clipping. It's more for grinding, like it grinds down the nails, kind of like a human uses a nail file. It's kind of the same thing as that. I've never tried it. It might work better for you, or you might be better off just taking your dog to a groomer or to the vet to have it done. Tony says, what is your take on sled dogs? For short, quick distances, I choose huskies, but for long distances, I would choose malamutes. You actually have that backwards. Malamutes are used for short distances and hauling uh, bigger items, bigger freight. Historically, that's what they're used for. And huskies are built for stamina. So they are built for going very long distances. 30 miles to 30 to 35 miles a day they can travel. So huskies are for long distances, malamutes are for more weight. Emily wants to know, why does Memphis not wear her collar? She only doesn't wear her collar pretty much in these videos and it's mainly because the back of her collar doesn't have a cover on it yet so you can see our phone number and all that fun stuff if I'm not watching where I video. So it's just easier for me right now to just take it off. A couple of you had some feeding questions. A lot of you asked again this week what type of food we feed the dogs. We feed them Dr. Tim's Kinesis. Some of you asked how much food we feed the dogs. They get about a cup and a half to two cups a day depending on if we've gone out sledding or hiking or how much actual work they've done for the day. And somebody else asked... What was it? Oh, are your huskies picky dogs? I know mine is. Do you have any trouble feeding the girls their dinner? Not normally. Most of the time they all do pretty good eating. Memphis and Oakley especially will eat just about anything. Shelby from time to time will have a moment where she's like, I'm not really sure I want to eat this food. And I'll just put, you know, a little bit of wet dog food on top of it and that usually entices her to eat it. Doesn't happen very often, but that's usually what I do when she does decide to become picky. Raphael says, I've been reading that fixing a Siberian Husky ruins their coat. Is that true? Have you noticed any difference in in Memphis's coat or any of your girls? Uh, no. If you guys could actually pet our dogs uh, through the screen here, they are, well Memphis still is a puppy, but all of the dogs' fur feels just like Memphis's. You know, they're all really soft. Their fur is always nice and shiny. I've never heard that getting your dog fixed ruins their coat. I can't say that I've ever had that problem. Shiloh was fixed. All of our girls are fixed. I don't know where Shelby went. She disappeared. Um, and their coats are all just fine. I mean, you guys see them multiple times a week in the video. Does it look like they have a healthy coat to you? Do you have a healthy coat? Tooth game? Tooth game. Let's play the tooth game. Urgh. Tooth game. No? All right. There's Shelby. Vale says, I have a deaf husky puppy. How can I teach it not to bite? I'm covered in bite marks and bruises and need advice before summer and it grows. Val, it sounds like you need the help of a professional trainer. I would be looking in your area for a professional dog trainer to help you out with that. I don't know how you ended up with a deaf husky puppy, but that sounds like you definitely took on a challenge there. So I would definitely contact a professional. Steven says, I don't know if it's possible because of geography, but would you ever collaborate with camels and friends? Sugar Tree reminds me of Shiloh. You know, you're right, Sugar Tree does have a lot of the same quality Shiloh does. If you guys haven't checked out youtube.com slash camels and friends, you definitely should. They have an awesome channel. You guys would love it. Lots of animals, lots of cool stuff. They're wonderful, wonderful people. Um, you know, I don't know. One of these days we're going to have to figure out a way to travel so we can travel and visit some of our other YouTube friends and maybe do some videos like that. I don't know. Is it a possibility? Everything's a possibility. Will it ever happen? You just never know. I don't know if it's Pitbull week or what, but I had quite a few of you ask me what I think about Pitbulls. I like Pitbulls. I, I don't know why that's a question. What do I think about them? They're, they're cool dogs. <laughs> um, I have nothing against Pitbulls. I don't know if it's some special Pitbull week, but I think I had that question from at least four different people. 
We like pit bulls, don't we? Do we like pit bulls? Pit bulls, pit bulls. You're such a cutie, Shelby. We got some mail, we got some mail. We got a letter from Ashley and a box of stuff. I'll open it, Memphis. i open it. Let's open it. Oh, look. Oh, look at tennis balls. Two tennis balls per dog. Here. But there's more in here than ten. Oh, look, two more tennis balls. Yay! Uh oh. Two more tennis balls. Yay! They're like, we're not being fooled. We'll play with those later. Well, maybe Oakley got fooled. What's this? What is this? Roasted chicken zooks. Yum, 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 yum. All right, you can have some. Hold on just a second. Ooh, zook treat. Some for you. Some for you. Memphis. Some for you. Here, Oakley, I got one more for you. Oh. I dropped it. Okay, I'll have to get you another one. Say thank you for those. And we got two drawings from Monica and a recipe for baby food dog treats, which we're going to have to try. And we got some awesome Valentines from Tracy. One with each of the dogs. This one is for Shiloh. Look how cute that is. We got one for all of us. Well, thank you, Tracy. And we got a letter from Jeannie. Jeannie said in one of our old videos, we had talked about a dog that needed a $5,000 donation for cancer surgery. Did all the money for the surgery get raised? Um, yes, I'm pretty sure you're talking about Max. Yes, Max got the surgery he needed and he did get adopted into a new family. I will see if I can find any updates about Max from Harry Houdini Husky Rescue. Also, they wanna know, do you think when a dog turns one or two that they get a little bit calmer? It entirely depends on the personality of the dog. Memphis discovered that there's a bunch of tennis balls on the floor. You, you watched me throw those. You just now figured that out. <laughs> All right, tennis balls. And we got a drawing from Adam. And we got a letter and a drawing from Alyssa. Congratulations on your new wine reiner puppy. Uh, Alyssa wants to know if we can make a video on how to train your dog's agility. This is something I have written down to hopefully start to do and show you guys come this spring. When Memphis starts learning agility, I hope to show you guys some of the tips and tricks we use to teach our girls agility. And another question she has was, I know a lot of people really want you to, but can you write a book about your dogs? I would love to read it. This is another thing that I have written down in things that I would like to do. So. One of these nights, maybe I'll get inspired and I'll start writing a book about our dogs. We'd have to start with Shiloh, though, because she'd have the, the longest story, right? <laughs> That's all we have for Fan Friday today, you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't done so yet, Wednesday night around 1030, we put up a late video with a coupon code for 15% off of a Spirit Hood. I'll put a link to the video somewhere down in here. Um, we hope you enjoyed all the race footage we put up this weekend. Thanks for understanding. We put those videos up mainly so that the mushers who race their dogs can see their dogs in action. We belong to Mid-Union Sled Haulers, and it's just a fun way for us to be able to give back to those people that come out and race their dogs to say thank you for doing what you do and showing that we love and support what they do. Uh, I think that's really all we have for today. We are currently getting a rainstorm that isn't supposed to end until 7 o'clock on Friday, so I'm hoping that we will have power so I can upload this tomorrow, because today is actually Thursday night. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we will see you soon. You just, you can't get any closer. I have my pajamas on, and Memphis is like, I have to be right next to you right now. Alright, that's where you want to be. I'll let you be there. And somebody's jealous. You're going to have to take turns. Yeah, I think you're going to have to take turns. Tooth game, tooth game. See, I get my finger under her tooth and pull. Arr, arr, arr. Oh, oh, want the other tooth? Arr, 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 arr. Up close, Memphis teeth. Goodbye.